Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in. That means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all and welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged, some is not. And the FAIR Act use is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it. Let's get to it, y'all. Um, I wanted to talk about this whole Boosie and Tootie Raw thing that just took place. You know, um, we're on the street is. Tootie Raw ran over his daddy's pink and toe, y'all. Okay? In the car. And I just had to jump on here and say something about this. Um, I think this is one of the reasons why, you know, Charleston White had a problem with Tootie Raw. Okay? Um... And this ain't nothing but karma. I'm going to just be completely honest. This is Boosie's karma because, you know, he messed up other people's kids. Okay? Marlo Mike and all this mess. Um, and allegedly messed over Mo3 and all kind of other stuff. And, you know, it's one thing that I... This is why I don't mess with Boosie. Because I just feel like um, Boosie is for Boosie. You know, he don't care about other people. And, you know, for you to turn a child into a hitter and then turn your back on them you know i just i can't with boosie for you to um you know hook up with mo3 as a marketing scheme so y'all can all get make money off of me you know people was lining them up i just can't get with boosie for that reason but at the same time i have to defend boosie on this one right here because um tootie raw wouldn't have anything if it wasn't for his father and I just, I just feel like Tootie Raw is so disrespectful in so many ways. You know, um, it's one way for me to feel the way I feel about him. Because I feel the way I feel about Boosie because of, uh, you know, other people that he didn't mess over. Okay? But this is your son. And you would think that your son would appreciate you. Okay, y'all? Um, not to mention his father is a diabetic, y'all. It's hard for diabetics to heal and certain things that you do to them, you can, you know, if you you cut them or you know they have any kind of injuries, it's hard for them to heal, y'all. And I just feel like you know Tootie Raw takes advantage of his father. He really does. And you know it ain't gonna hit him till Boosie ain't around. That you know the reason why you have the things that you have or have coming to to you when you get older or whatever, is because of the legacy that your father built. And he did this for all of his kids, okay, y'all? And I just don't like his attitude, okay? I do not appreciate the fact that, you know, I, I don't appreciate no kids treating their, their parents a certain particular way, especially a parent that's in your corner, making sure that, you know, when they're gone, you got something to fall back on and you ain't going to be hurting for nothing. This is Boosie, y'all, when it comes to his kids. You can you can say whatever you all want to say about Boosie, even though he's a bad father for, you know, letting them experience stuff too early and this and that and teaching them stuff that they should not be taught. Um, He still looks out for his family, okay? And it's just hard for me to sit back and, you know, think that this, you know, let him think that this is okay for you to treat your father the way that he does. And I don't like it, y'all. It just makes me so mad at Tootie Raw. Okay, y'all. Um, I was sitting back thinking when I when I heard this video. And shout out to um Nan Mag TV. If y'all haven't seen the video, go over there to Nan Mag TV and check it out. Um, it's called Boosie Goes Off on his son Tootie for running over his big toe with the car. And um, you know, it's funny, but it ain't funny. Okay, y'all, when it comes down to if you really care about someone, it's funny, but it ain't funny. Okay, y'all, it didn't make sense to me for him to do that and then act as if it wasn't no big deal after he did it. I bet you right now, Boosie feel like he got so many other young men that's growing up, that's coming up in the game, that show him more respect than his own son. This is so disrespectful on so many levels. But I'm going to play the um the audio real quick, y'all. I want y'all to just hear. But if y'all want to see the video, go over there to NAMAC TV and check it out. But here it is. I think all that you be doing, you be trying to <laughs> stupid as you to run over your back too, too, you're stupid as <laughs> And he laughing. He's laughing. Boozy is peed off right now. 
he's really peed off. He's trying to play it off, but I do believe that Boosie is in pain after his son ran over his pinky toe. I think he's in pain. He really is. But, you know, you have to be careful what you dish out. Because if you messed up somebody else's child, then nine times out of ten, you're going to get something back to you. This is the look on Boosie's face after his son uh, ran over his pinky toe, y'all, with the car. Ran his father's foot. He could have put this man in the hospital. He could have put Boosie in the hospital. He could stop the circulation in his, you know, his blood in his uh, foot doing some stupid stuff like that. And he's laughing about it. But let's finish it, listening to it, y'all. He's laughing about it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hey, hit that trunk right quick, right here, in the front. You see the look on Boosie's face, y'all? It looked like he broke out in a sweat, too, when he hit him with that car and ran his toe over. Um, Boosie wiping his nose and everything. Like, he's sweating and the nose running, okay, y'all? He's in pain. And he's trying to play it off because he's on live. But um, it ain't funny when it comes down to, you know... His son should not be laughing at this. This is not no laughing matter. Are you going to be laughing if something happens to him and they have to take his foot off? You know what I'm saying, y'all? When you are diabetic and stuff like this, um, you have to be careful, especially with your feet. Your feet and your hands. Like some, A lot of diabetics, they can't even get fingernail polish, put fingernail polish on females. Because, they, you know, the doctors like to be able to see you know, their nails, you know, their skin through their nails to make sure that they're getting the right circulation and stuff. So they don't even like to, you know, let them wear fingernail polish. This is what my, my, um, my mother's doctor said, you know, it's not a good thing for you to wear polish because so we can make sure that you, you know, your blood is circulating good and stuff like that. They, he taking this as a joke doing his father like that. And, and like I said, it's crazy that it's people on the street that respect Boosie more than his own son does. Okay. He has really um, been spoiled in his life to the fact that he would even do some mess like this to his father and laugh about it. Let's keep going. You a stupid I swear to God, dog. Stupid ran over my fucking toe. <laughs> I came with this. This is stupid. Wait a minute, y'all. <laughs> Nan Mag TV, they play too much, okay? They play too much. But this is what this is what Boosie put up there. This is what he said on the live. He ran over my toe. And Boosie tried to laugh and play it off, but he ain't feeling, it ain't funny to Boosie. It really is not. He just trying to play it off online. It ain't funny to him. And this hurts Boosie hard when his son do stuff like this. Believe me, I know. Uh, why your face swole like that? That mean got your face, your face swole, dude. So he just now talking, getting back in the car, talking to his friends and everything, trying to play it off. But I do believe Boosie is in pain right now. He's in pain. And not just in pain from him running over his foot, but I think he's in pain for the simple fact that his son would do him like that and think that it's funny, y'all. But like I told you, you reap what you sow. Um, and I say this all the time, even as a parent, and I'm going to say this, when your kids is in the wrong really quick, I don't want to preach, okay, y'all? But when your kids is in a wrong, it's very important for you to, you know, um, not defend your child, but teach them some sense. OK, because sooner or later, all of that dirty stuff that you have them doing to other people, it will turn around and nip you in your own. But I'm telling you, I know this from experience from people that I have been around. And it's the same thing, vice versa. 
when you got kids growing up, you should raise your kids in the right manner. That even if their parents is in the wrong about something, your kids can openly come to you and talk to you and say, well, mama, you was in the wrong about this. Or daddy, you was in the wrong about this. Okay. And you all sit down and have a discussion about it. And you, you own up to whatever you did wrong. And appreciate the fact that you taught your kids enough sense that even if you are in the wrong, they are, you know, man or woman enough to come to you and say, you know, you was wrong about that, mama. You shouldn't have even did that or something. Because I know so many people that have raised their kids to the point right now that even when they're in the wrong, their kids defend them too, just like they defend the wrongs that their kids does. And people think that, some people think that's a good thing, but no, it's not. It backfires. It really does. And believe me, I know y'all, okay? Believe me, I know from, you know, experience of people that I have been around, Okay. That's why it's, this is one of the reasons why I stay away from certain people. When you can't talk to somebody that everything that they do is right in their eyes and they don't see nothing that they do wrong. Okay. And then they raise their kids to be like this too. And their kids will come at you and you ain't even in the wrong. The, the mama or the daddy is in the wrong. This backfires. When they get older, those kids are going to do the same thing that you are doing to other people. They're going to do it to you. And it, it this is just life, y'all. It is. It's life. So Boosie is just getting his karma right now. And look at the look on his face. He is looking like he mad, but he's trying to play it off, y'all. But I had to just throw this up there. Anyway, y'all, let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. Do y'all think that Tootie Raw respects Boosie? Because I don't. I really don't. And he shouldn't even been mad about... um. Charleston White saying something to him because Charleston White was telling him right in the first place. He needs to stay in the child's place. He needs to be more respectful to his father. And look at me out of all people, you, you know, taking up for Boosie. But I'm just saying this in general. I would say this about anybody if I saw them doing a parent like that, especially somebody that parent is out here hustling while he's sick. Y'all y'all see how Boosie be coughing every time he do videos. He coughing. I know he smoke a lot, but at the same time, Boosie got a lot of health issues going on with him. And for his son to take advantage of him, I just, I, y'all, I'm going to say that toward anybody. Okay, y'all? Anyway, y'all, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.